2017 NBA draft is slated to be one of the best and deepest classes in years. And with a whole bunch of prospects that could go within the top five or ten that could come in and immediately impact the league next year, the big question is going to be, who goes number one overall? Which player deserves to be the top pick in the draft? A lot will depend on movers and shakers in terms of the lottery, who moves up, who moves down, who makes a trade. But there are four names that jump out to me that could be the possible number one overall pick, depending on who's in the spot and what happens over the next couple weeks. The big one, and the one that makes the most sense, Markel Fultz, the point guard out of Washington. His team didn't make the tournament. They weren't very good. But the same thing happened to Ben Simmons last year. Talent overtook perception, and Ben Simmons was the number one overall pick. Markel Fultz compares it to James Harden. It's hard to imagine a team doesn't look at him as a top player. But if it's not Markel Fultz, look at Lonzo Ball out of UCLA, and those two have been compared and contrasted. Ball compared to a young Jason Kidd. And yes, his father, LeVar Ball, is a wacko with his shoes and his big baller brand, but Lonzo can really play. He could be the pick, especially if the Lakers have the number one overall selection. And then I look at two forwards, and if the Suns have the number one pick, it could be these guys. Jason Tatum out of Duke, Josh Jackson out of Kansas. Those are the names in play if I held the number one pick. If I was picking and I didn't have a slew of point guards that were dominant on my roster, and if the Celtics had the top pick, I expect it to be Markel Fultz, the point guard, the combo guard out of Washington with the number one overall pick.